it's Taylor. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm here to bring you my, it's the Reading Quest TBR. I will explain all of it here in just a second, but I heard about this through Katrina over at Little Book Owl. I will link her down below. I will also have all of the information for this month-long readathon kind of deal that's going on down below if you want to join. It's gonna be super cool. It's kind of like I feel like it's kind of like a RPG kind of thing because the only way that you can advance along your board and to gain points is to read. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into the information before I give you my TBR for and my character and everything like that. So this readathon was created by Reads at Midnight. I will link her information down below. and. She has this brilliant idea. It's a bingo board, but in the four corners there are four different characters. There is Knight, Bard, Rogue, and Mage. Those are the four characters, and they each have their own pathway to take on this board. And in the middle of the board are side quests. And I will have a image come up here in just a second that is going to explain the purple and you'll see the game board and stuff like that. So it starts on Sunday, August 13th and runs until Sunday, I believe it's September 10th. The wonderful artist who created this game board and drew up our pieces and stuff like that at CW over at Read Think Ponder. So we have to give a huge shout out to her for creating such a beautiful piece and the artwork that she has created for this is just gorgeous. So like I said, it's a bingo type board, but for our purpose, it's going to be a quest board. And then there are um, stages throughout the quest board, but those are going to be our reading prompts. And it's so cool. Like I can't, I can't state how cool this whole thing is. So the paths that you take are determined by your character. If you are a knight, you have the first horizontal row. If you are a bard, you have the very last vertical row. If you are a rogue, you have the very bottom horizontal row. And then if you are a, a mage, you have the very first vertical row. So you pick one character and you complete those five tasks. If you want to do more, you can, but you have to, your initial character, you have to finish those five prompts first. And then you can jump to somebody else. But what, one of the things that you can do is you can, within your five prompts, you, you don't have to go in order. As long as you read in your character's row, you can pick whichever prompt you want to move to first. And, but in order to move to another character's path, you do have to finish all five of your quests. Uh, you can only use one book for the prompts. You can't double up. There's no... If you finish one prompt and you want to use that book for another, you can't double up. You can't reread or anything like that. And all of the books to count for this have to start on August 13th. Like right now, if I were to be in the middle of The Final Empire, which is one of the books for my Tome Topple, if I were to be in the middle of that and I wanted to finish it for the reading quest, it wouldn't count. So all the books to gain points, this is for points by the way. So in order to gain points for the books that you read, you have to start them on Sunday, August 13th. So one of the ways that you can gain points is there are experience points and, and there are also health points. Every character starts with 10 points of experience and in order to gain more experience, you have to read. So for every book, it is 10 experience points. Unless you read a book by a marginalized author, then that's 20 experience points. You also can read a manga or a graphic novel, but finishing that you only get 5 experience points. Upon completing your character's full path, you get 50 points. For any additional character that you finish, it's 30, extra, 30 experience points. You also level up every 50. For health points, you start at 10 health points. For every 10 pages read, you get one health point. And in graphic novels or mangas, I believe it's every 20 pages, you get one health point. Now, audiobooks do also count. And for every 20 minutes, you get one health point. Uh, upon completing a audiobook, you get 10 experience points. And then if it's by a marginalized author or an own voices author, it's 20 experience points. So that's a lot of information. 
to just spit out at you right now. But like I said, I will have all this information down below. I will have the blog post where you can read all of this. There are frequently asked questions, stuff like that down below as well. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you my character, where I'm starting, and give you the books that I'm going to read for that. Now I'm going to be starting, if you're looking at the board, it is the bottom left, it is the mage. I'm going to be starting with mage and my I'm going to go all the way up to the top left corner so my characters are on the left. I'm hopefully going to be able to go from mage to knight. So the first book on the corner is a book with a one word title and for that I'm going to go with Roseblood by A.G. Howard. This is a Phantom of the Opera inspired retelling. I've been dying to read this. I finally have a chance. And A.G. Howard books I fly through because I love her writing so much. Next is a book containing magic and I'm going to go with Frostblood by Ellie Blake. I think that this premise is so incredible. This follows a 17 year old who has fire blood and if you are living in the Frostblood ruling area having fire blood is not good. So I'm going to hopefully fly through this because it sounds incredible and so interesting. Next is a book based on mythology and I'm going to go with Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. This has been on multiple TBRs. I haven't picked it up yet so I'm really excited to finally dive in and get this read. This Next is a book that is set in a different world. This is the second book in the Fallen Kingdom series, Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. I am so ready to dive back into this. I'm so excited. I know that there are five books and the sixth book is going to be coming out maybe later this year or early next year. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And the last square is first book in a series and I'm going to go with Lady Midnight. I, I don't know. I've been putting this off for so long. I meant to start reading it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So yes, I'm going to start Lady Midnight. The last square of the mage is first book in a series but the first square in the night path is first book in a series so this will count towards that you can double upon challenges but it's the corner only so the end of one and the beginning of another so that does count that's because it's the same you don't have to read two books for the same square so it's gonna be Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare is also going to start off my night journey. And then continuing along the top horizontal line, a book with a verb in it, and I'm going to go with Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the, uh, I believe it's called the Shadow and Bone trilogy, but it used to be the Grisha trilogy. So yes, I'm diving into this. Next is a book with a weapon on the cover, and I'm going to go with Never Night by Jay Kristoff. There is a dagger, so that counts. Uh, I know Kaz over at Little Book Owl loves this book. I haven't heard much. I think Regan from Peru's Project likes this as well. So I'm really stoked. I can't wait to see what all the hype is about because the second book comes out later this year. The fourth square is a book with red on the cover. I'm going to go with The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. Red on the cover. I know that this is a, an erotic thriller about a girl who I believe she might have agoraphobia or some kind of thing, some kind of mental issue going on to where she can't leave. She becomes a cam girl. So this is going to be super sexy and super thrilling. And finally, it is a book to movie adaptation. I'm going to go with Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. This is... A book that I have been dying to read. I have the audiobook so I will be listening to this. I'm hoping to be listening to this while I am driving to work so I have a physical book to read while I'm at work or at home and I will have this to listen to while I'm driving. Now the, there are, I believe there are four side quests that I want to take part in and I'm not 100% sure if you can just choose any of the, I believe there are 16 in the middle, any of the 16 side quests that you can choose from. I don't know if you have to go with the row that you're doing. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I will leave the information down below once I get it. But there are four that I have chosen that I want to go with. And the first one is Grind. And that is to read a book that is over 500 pages. I want to read the manga Orange. I forgot to grab that. But I do want to read it and I think I can fly through it. Because I think it's going to be a pretty easy read. The second one is to read a book that is by two authors, two or more authors. 
I'm gonna go with It's Summer Day, Summer Nights. I'm gonna read the short story by Cassandra Clare. And that is, she wrote it, but it was edited by Stephanie Perkins, and that's two authors, and there are also 12 short stories in there by 12 different authors, so it's a bunch of different authors. And I'm gonna see if that works. If not, then, oh well, it doesn't. I'll figure out something else. I do know that I have Beautiful Creatures by Kami Garcia and Margaret Soule, and I'll slide that in if the original plan doesn't work. Next is going to be expansion, and that is to read a, a companion novel or short story. There are 13 short stories in here that I want to read. This is Because You Love to Hate Me. This is the collection of 13 short stories by where booktubers have given prompts to authors, and that should count towards my short story novella kind of thing. And finally, it is going to be mini game, and that is to read a graphic novel or uh, a novella or poetry, and I'm going to go with Shadowhunters. It is The Denzins of Downworld by Cassandra Clare, and this is illustrated by uh, Cassandra Jean. I am going to consider this like an illustrated graphic novel kind of thing, even though it's not. So I'm kind of cheating. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, but I do want to read it. It's going to be a pretty short. So yeah, that is my TBR for the reading quest. This is my entry video. So I'm really excited. I hope you join. It starts August 13th. So you have plenty of time to decide and get your books together and stuff like that. But you do have to enter if you want to partake by August 13th. So let me know down below if you're planning on joining. It's a super cool idea. First time I've actually ever heard of it. So I don't know how long this has been going on. And I'm really stoked. Really, really stoked. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.